exhibition that looks at the myth of paradise and its potent narratives and imagery through the work of five contemporary artists Claire Kernin, Caroline Smith, Olivia Kemp, Sikalela Owen and Jan Peter Mulwick. Jan Peter Mulwick's paintings exude a magical optimism that epitomizes the paradise that is Eden. Eve arrives joyful in the Garden of Eden before a tree full of cherries. Adam swims in primeval waters amidst sea creatures and verdant plants. Naked and unabashed, his figures are described as if in the midst of creation and look out at us in uncomplicated joy, pictures of innocence in their native habitat. Fauna and flora bloom around them like a divine template of beauty illuminating the experience. In Jan Peter's work, Paradise is both our origin and our end, something we each carry within us. Their optimism serves to dispel the harshness of reality and guide us back to our destination. Sikalela Owen's paintings flow between figuration and abstraction, depicting quiet scenes in a way that strips away all extraneous detail to focus only on what is important, emotional connections, intimacy, and family. Lush green gardens are often the setting for Sikalela's work, transposing imagery of contemporary domestic life into the ideal of an uncomplicated Eden. She arranges colour blocks as if by pattern that are then tied together with gestural mark making, and her light layering of glazes lends her colours a radiant luminosity. The result is paintings that capture both the ephemeral moment and timeless emotions set in environments that perpetuate the power of the image of Eden as an ideal space. Claire Canine is an Irish artist whose ceramic figures seem to inhabit parallel realms. One, the earthly world of clay. The other, a spiritual space where they feel their way into the unknown. One work, Anamkara, depicts a figure blossoming with flowers and branches. An exuberance of beauty that almost blinds the figure beneath. It is a being communing completely with nature, becoming part of the paradisical ideal. An accompanying torso in stark white porcelain speaks of the fragility of the human condition. Uncertain and vulnerable, his gentle fingers seek contact with their surroundings, while golden holes like ancient sacrificial wounds puncture its surface. Alongside them, a Mary Magdalene beside a tree stump hints at the vilification of women within myths of paradise. Olivia Kemp's ink drawings are both intricate and expansive, fruit of an intuitive stream of consciousness approach to drawing. The large work in Eden describes a classical garden alive with writhing snakes. Roman columns, Renaissance sculptures, ceramic vessels and verdant plants all attest to the power of the garden as an archetype for an idealised lost past. Within this, the serpent represents both temptation and corruption, an earthly counterbalance to unblemished innocence. Their looping forms knit together a complex composition, leading the eye through a garden so dense it becomes a labyrinth impossible to absorb in its entirety. A group of rotting apples in an accompanying drawing, further the theme of temptation and corruption of the flesh. Caroline Smith's works also feature snakes in a writhing Medusa's head, suggesting how the serpent is an enduring motif in relation to representations of the feminine throughout mythology. Caroline's ceramic sculptures all delve into the ancient archetypes from mythology and religion, reimagining them in vivid details and striking physical forms. Here, a large golden angel is cast out of paradise, his face crushed as he falls to earth and begins to dissolve like molten rock. Alongside creatures of the forest, the inhabitants of Eden, 
speak of the symbolic power of animals that appear in many mythologies of the creation of the world. The Owl of Wisdom and the Industrious Wise Hedgehog. 